Hello, I'm Charlotte Ballas and you're watching a special Earth Day edition of Newsy.com. Researchers are finding new and clever ways to harness energy, including piezoelectricity, which may hold key answers in the global search for clean alternative energy. Discovery Channel tells us more. Future sidewalks might be covered with smart panels that capture piezoelectricity, power generated from applied mechanical pressure. As this technology develops, we will be able to place this into every single airport terminal, every railway station, every large city intersection on every sidewalk. Research in piezoelectricity has already produced award-winning ideas and inventions. U.S. inventor Alexander Parker developed a way to store energy simply by pressing buttons on a cell phone. How Stuff Works analyzed his invention. The electricity generated by hitting just one button would be minuscule, an estimated 0.5 watts, according to the inventor. But when you add up all the buttons required to send a single text message and multiply that by the number of text messages sent each day, that's quite a lot of wattage. Some piezoelectric inventions are already successfully being used. A dance club in the Netherlands called Sustainable Dance Club is partially powered by piezoelectric pads underneath the dance floor. Green gyms are another form of piezoelectricity in the US. Green gyms convert energy from people using stationary bikes into clean, usable energy. One such gym is the Green Micro Gym in Portland, Oregon. PopSci.com brings us this perspective from the gym's owner. By being extremely energy efficient and combining human power, solar and someday wind, I believe we'll be able to be net zero for electricity sometime this year. Israeli company Inawatek has plans to harness piezoelectricity on roads, runways and railways by using piezoelectric generators. Their plans are outlined here in this video tutorial. There's a 56-year-old company in Lambertville that Fortune's small business recently named one of the year's hot startups. What caught Fortune's eye is the company's homegrown technology for active ceramic fibers with special electrical and mechanical properties. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan has the story. If it's surprising to see ceramics come off the manufacturing line on spools of flexible fiber rather than rows of brittle pots, it can be downright shocking to learn what these active fibers can do, such as generating electric charge from a smack on the floor. The two-way action of these so-called piezoelectric fibers allows them to scavenge electrical energy from vibrations and also to exert mechanical force. If we put voltage into that, the fiber gets longer, and if that's attached to something that doesn't get longer in the presence of a voltage, it bends it. Uh, this little unit, uh, when, if fully energized, will push it about 60 pounds. Advanced Ceremetrics developed these fibers to dampen the vibration of helicopter blades, but they first hit the market in head tennis rackets that used the energy of hitting the ball to quell the racket's vibration, putting more power into the ball and saving the player's elbow. Head is also building smart skis around these active fibers. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Most of the materials made in Advanced Cerametrics, New Jersey Labs, and Ohio Factory go into products that transform mechanical energy into electricity. Used another way, the same materials actively control vibrations in structures ranging from skis to helicopter blades. Now, what are these people up to? The lights are on, but no one's plugged in. In this experiment, researchers are harnessing the vibrations from dancing or shuffling to power the electrics. Energy harvesting could be the next small green thing. Time now for Tech Talk with Gabe Slate. <laughs> Engineers at UC Berkeley are developing electrical clothing that could one day charge the gadgets we carry around. They have created nano generators. These nano generators capture energy created by movement and transfer it into electrical energy to charge devices. They're weaving these nano generators into clothing. So when someone walked around in this clothing, the nano generators capture and harness the energy the body produces through movement. Once captured, it could transfer that energy to electric energy. And and charge your gadgets. One day you might be able to simply charge your phone by dropping it in your pants pocket.
Every time we take a step, we leave energy behind. What if we could capture this energy as a clean source of electricity? Dutch architects Dole are developing the technology to capture the energy of dancers like these, then using it to power the club's music and lights. Certain materials produce electricity when squeezed. This is known as the piezo effect. So a dance floor can become one big generator, turning every movement into new power. In fact, any vibrations we make can generate electricity. Even the rattle of the tram taking you home at the end of the night.